any, 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 anyway, but you know, the other day I was thinking about live streaming. Um, I can't wait to go back to live shows. It's like when you're there, you're there. It's the weirdest fucking thing. You go to a show like two, two, two thousand and a half miles away from here. You go to the fucking show. I mean, you see where you want to go to a live show? You go to the after you're there. Where, where, where can you go? You take a bus, you take a train, you take a cab. It doesn't fucking matter. When you're there, you're there. Hey, you know, so this is it. Next show is going to be presented by Content Breaks on April 29th, all the way from LA. Married Fatality. I, uh, I love L.A. It's like that Randy Newman song. I love L.A. Yeah, thankfully I've already been vaccinated because it's like I have many, many, many comorbidities. Pretty big f***ing deal if I do say so myself. Oh, my 
straight into my third eye, focusing on my energies, a scarlet target, shooting daggers of paralysis, begging us to stop. I envision the jet black and smoldering, artificially intelligent and infertile, apocalyptic and ruthless future. Can't you see? The dystopia is flying above us, polluting our minds, pushing against us, demanding our hopelessness. to just mindlessly accept the conditions in our society and in our world. And you say you would forfeit a part of yourself, and I don't know about you, but me, I believed it for a very long time, and I had to claw my way back into the living. You, the defenders of the dead, and the liberators of the living, the bricklayers of the revolution, and remember that in order to have the revolution, we need to have the revelation of who we are. If we had accepted the story that we were born into, it would have been to accept our own destruction. I'm <laughs> sorry.